You love to disappoint me, Nico Pelik. You really do. Are you disappointed that I have not found and killed you yet, Dmitri Raskolov? Do not worry. Your time will soon come. I went to the sewage works on Charge Island. I picked through the bodies, and yours was not amongst them. Very disappointing. I'm sorry. Or maybe the thugs who failed to kill me should be blamed, though. I cannot believe that you would steal from my friend Ray Bulgarin twice. First in Europe, and then these diamonds in Liberty City. You are in debt to him, Nico. Why don't you just pay him what you owe, and we can all get along? I have no debts to Bulgarin, Dimitri. And the only thing I owe you is a bullet to the temple. You will be paid in full. Fear not. You have a sharp tongue, Nico. It is only a matter of time before it is cut out of your mouth. Goodbye. Huh? That thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chop. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the bada beep bada boop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The Triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it, no problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just asking. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Ugh. I'll be in touch, Nikki. Oh.
Smack. Damn, try it, truck driver. I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house over Beaverhead Abbey. You know the one I mean. They'll be waiting here. You Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardtack. 
Still calling you. Nico, I told Jimmy T about it. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah. He's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in Westside. Everybody...